We've done row one and two, now we're going to move to three, which again goes left to right. We're going to start the same way, coming up through the first hole, but we're going to do something a little different. Go ahead and we're going to pull through till the knot's there, and then we'll tape it in place on the paper. So again, paper is not as strong as fabric. Now last time we sewed, we went from dot to dot to dot. This time you're going to add another stitch in between. So I want you to find what's about the halfway point between the first and the second dot and poke through there. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you're going to try to aim for that. And then we're going to go on to the next dot. Okay, so same exact way you go over the edge of the paper, come up through the bottom. All right, we're going to try that again. So you're going to figure out where about the middle would be. Poke through there. I'm going to pull through. And then go to the dot. So you're adding a stitch in between each dot. So it gets you a little bit better at spacing out stitches without having the paper to help you. Paper is a great way to learn, but eventually you're going to have to do it on fabric, which won't have dots laid out for you. So you're just going to keep going through the dot, pull through, and then guess where the middle would be. You're going to keep doing that to the end. 